Welcome to the Hillsborian Historian. My name is Rex, and today our topic is the class of 1931. Principal Spalding presides over this school year, and the yearbook is dedicated to a teacher named Mr. Charles Ross. The boxing team had a great year, but the coach had to borrow money for them to go to the state meet. The Terriers did beat Plant in the Turkey Day game. On January 29th, the last group of seniors that had spent any time at the Old Hillsboro on Highland Avenue graduated in the HHS Auditorium. This is part of the graduation bouquet, and here are some prices of what it cost to be a senior in 1931. This is the basketball team and they have a good season. They will wind up facing Plant High School for the city championship and the handsome Sears and Roebuck trophy. The game is tied with 90 seconds to go when a Terrier gets a foul. The Plant Panther gets two shots. He misses the first one, but the second one finally falls in. This is an extremely bitter defeat for the Terriers as they watch the Plant Panthers walk away with the handsome Sears and Roebuck trophy. What happens next is one of the earliest chronicled pranks between these two high schools. Just after the basketball game, a group of Terriers goes to Plant High School and manages to steal a Plant Panther statue, about five feet long, weighing 400 pounds. The plant students are obviously upset and start an investigation. They will find the initials HHS on the sidewalks outside of their school. The plant principal at this time is some guy named Vivian Gaither who is trying to calm down his students. The incident threatens to end the athletic relationship between the two schools, but the baseball teams do play with the Terriers winning. The Plant Panther statue is missing until just before graduation, when it's front page news that the Terriers are digging up the statue at the HHS athletic field. A Terrier hands the reporter a note stating that they tried to return the Panther, but every time they were about to, someone would make an uncomplimentary remark. This group of boys claims they don't know who stole it, but their understanding was that it was taken from Plant High School and buried at the bank of the flat at Hillsboro, a few feet from the building. According to the story, the boys took the Panther to Hillsboro High School. Notice that there is no gymnasium yet. They then hide the statue somewhere in this area, and the next day bury it in the middle of the athletic field. As hundreds of terriers watch, this thing rises from three feet down, and then somebody tries to paint it yellow, but that's prevented. The statue is then loaded on a truck and taken to the home of the president of the Plant High School, PTA. She hides it in her garage when a second group of boys comes to try to steal it, and then she calls the deputy sheriff and things finally calm down. Both sides claim that they are satisfied, but this is merely one chapter in a rivalry that continues to this day. In the end, Principal Spalding claimed that he did not know who had taken the statue, and the original culprits were never identified. A few days later, the June class graduated in the HHS Auditorium. They were the first class to have attended all three years at the Big Red on Central Avenue. As they say, it takes a thief to catch a thief. Wait, somebody stole my statue. I'm just kidding. Please subscribe to my channel to keep up with all of my HHS videos. Take care of each other and as always, Go Big Red.